Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome to the channel. I am said Stevie. And I got a uh, unboxing slash uh, not really first impressions. Because uh, this is a knife that I have had in before and recently uh, handled. Uh, unboxing knife. Uh, since it is still technically uh, Thursday, uh, in pocket all day has been the tactile uh, knife rock wall uh, awesome thumb studs on this it's actually uh, zerk on the uh, thumb studs um, this is way nicer than cue balls too by the way um, anywho Maddie has one that's also uh, better than cue balls but uh, this comes from uh, uh, bears blades uh, uh, bear bishop if y'all know him um, some people love him some people hate him, um, but uh, he's an awesome dude. I've bought a bunch of knives from him in the past, and uh, he had a really good deal on this. Um, originally, someone else was actually interested in it. Uh, <clears throat> satisfaction. And then he passed on it, and I figured I would get it. And this is obviously a Kube, a uh, higher-end Kube than I've uh, had before. But this is, does it say... Um, well, it just says it's the KB29A and S35VN, color gray, made in China. In case you guys don't already know what that model number is, I will reveal that here. This is, ah, huh, nice box by Kube. This is my first, uh, I've only had their budget stuff. This here is, huh, nice. I don't have any Kube wiping clubs. Um, that's awesome. Uh, this is the Kubi Atlas. And um, I had this originally on loan from Q-Ball, uh, back when Q-Ball sent me a bunch of knives. Really dug it. Uh, meant, or I shot some content on it and then messed up the video and was never able to release the video. And then... I messed around with uh, it a bunch when I was with Q-Ball in, um, uh, during the Blade Show, uh, road trip, and apparently we got some dickhead in a muscle car that just pulled up and, uh, is revving the engine. That was actually a pretty badass 68 Camaro that just, uh, pulled in and out of here. But, um, this is, a, I believe, a, it looks like it's a different color of green, I thought, uh, or a different color on the Anno. There it goes. I thought cue balls was blue. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a pretty dope knife. Uh, full titanium. Um, I believe, uh, I don't know if the hardware is, but I know that the pocket clip and uh, the backspacer are, I'm almost positive, but uh, full titanium on the handles. This is a flipper and a slot for deployment. Boom, look at that blade there. Nice uh, sheep's footy type blade. This is a Jelly Jerry design. I don't own any other Jelly Jerry designs, but there you have also the blade steel marking, S35VN. This is number 472. Um, the action on these are stupid ridiculous. Um, man, I'm outdoors again and the mosquitoes are going crazy, so I'm going to have to cut this uh, short, I think. Pause. But yeah, um, so the action, it's the, the detent's dialed in perfect for the flipper. Listen, schnick, easy access to the fr frame lock, drops pretty uh, good, easy to dis deploy on the finger. Listen, boom. So aesthetically, I think it's a pretty dope knife. Ergonomically, uh, that's where I think this starts to shine. The jimping is done perfectly. I like, I like a nice, deep uh, jimping, and it's in, just in the exact right spot. Um, even if I choke up, um, you know, I'm still there. Uh, it's, it is, you know, in a pinch grip, you know. Um, it's very comfortable. I get a full four on it when I'm uh, just in the regular uh, hammer grip there, and even more when I am uh, uh, choked up into that choil there. I wish the choil was a little bit uh, wider, but it, uh, it's absolutely very functional. 
I believe uh, we are rocking a, um, well, it, it looks over three and a half inches. Let's compare it to, I know that this blade is three and a half inches, the Ferrum Forge Allure. So we're just over uh, three and a half inches on the blade there. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Didn't mean to be coughing in your ear like that. But uh, yeah, um, again, S35VN blade. I like S35VN. I've never had S35VN from Kube, so I'm interested to see how it goes. Um, and honestly, I might not even keep this knife. Um, I bought it uh, for the person uh, that actually uh, wanted it, uh, didn't have the chance to jump on it. Um, so I picked it up and I figured I would check it out. And if they are still interested in it, I would uh, just sell it to them. Uh, I got this for a screaming deal, by the way. Um, again, shout out to Bear Bishop. I think he's, uh, he, he's going to be done uh, selling. He's a uh, distributor that sells through all the uh, different buy-sell trade groups. Um, he's had his own... A uh, couple of groups, uh, Bear Nose Blades, I think, is where um, uh, he currently has on Facebook. I'll link him in the description. I know he's not going to be selling for much longer, but definitely uh, he's got a lot of good prices on a lot of awesome stuff, a lot of Reich, um, uh, a lot of the uh, overseas brands, uh, the good budget brands um, that uh, uh, are out there. You know, um, If you don't like overseas knives, then you're not going to like... Uh, his offerings, because it's pretty much uh, all overseas stuff, but um, he's just a one-man shop, so he's able to offer uh, some pretty damn good pricing. A lot of stuff he has to uh, follow map pricing on, but, you know, uh, the other stuff, uh, he doesn't have as big a markup as a lot of the online guys, so um, if you see something that you like, jump on it. Um, he also does a lot of cool custom anno uh, to his knives. I think, I don't know what he charges for that, but you just got to ask. Um, I've probably bought over the last two years, 12 or so knives off of, uh, bear, uh, including, uh, I don't have it on me, but my, one of my absolute favorite knives, my, uh, we malice. Um, uh, I, I think the first knife I bought from him was literally like early 2020. Uh, I was a QSP penguin. And then I've bought again, uh, at least a dozen or so knives off him over the last couple of years. Always had an awesome uh, uh, experience with Bear. So, um, again, he'll be linked in uh, dis the description, his uh, Facebook page and uh, on Instagram. Um, again, I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, he might be uh, closing up shop here in a little bit. So, jump on it now. Um, but, uh, yeah, the Kubi Atlas. Jelly Jerry design. Um Again, uh, I, I spent a lot of time with this knife uh, when I had it in four or five months ago. And uh, I wish I would have saved that content. I did a pretty good uh, video on it um, that ended up being actually pretty long-winded. And that's why I think uh, I ended up accidentally deleting the file. Uh, it was too big and I was dumping some files and yeah, long story. But um if uh, the person that wanted this doesn't end up getting it, uh, I will then probably put this into rotation because, honestly, I like it, man. Um, you know, I'm not going to really carry it until I know that I'm going to be keeping it or not, but I would have no problem keeping this and uh, adding it to the collection. I would probably actually do something with the uh, Anno other than the green, although I think it looks really good. Just not a fan of the green. Um you know, so uh, maybe have something uh, done with that. Um, but yeah, I would say, uh, you know, I like Kubi's pivots. The only Kubi's I have are all the CM knife designs. Uh, the Hyde, the Royale with cheese, the Duroc. Uh, I think those are my only Kubi's. And they're all, you know, G10, uh, D2. Uh, maybe one of them is 14C. But um, they're done really, really well. Uh, Kubi did a really good job on those. And so um, stepping up uh, into their more premium stuff. And still, although I didn't pay full retail for this, I got it on a really good deal. Uh, I believe that these are only like 190 bucks, Under $200 for uh, titanium uh, S35VN on bearings. Awesome action. Um, I can highly recommend this knife. And I'm sure a lot of people already have. This knife has been out for a while. 
So, um, uh, I know it's nothing, uh, you know, there's been a bunch of reviews on the Kubi Atlas. They also have this in a more budget, uh, model with a G10. Um, and I almost got that one before and then I passed, but, uh, yeah, again, I can highly recommend this knife. Uh, if you are looking for something in titanium, uh, good to go steel with S35 VN, uh, slot for deployment, flipper tab. Um, I don't remember if it's lefty friendly. Nah, I mean, you can, uh, definitely, uh, with the flipper, but the flick it, I am putting a lot of pressure on that lock bar. So, um, yeah, but you can also, uh, oh, no, I can't on this one. On the other one, I, I thought I could, uh, thumb flick it really good, but I guess I can't. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're a thumb guy, uh, in a slot, that's not going to be appealing to you. But again, for you middle finger flickers, uh, does it, uh, just fine. Get ready for the gas station, Friday night gas station, uh, fight grip there. But, uh, again, the jumping's done really well. Um, backspacer, uh, you know, you feel that, uh, back there with a little bit of grip right in the palm. Actually, I like the way they jimped the, uh, I feel that, but it feels good. It kind of locks it in right there. Um, and then the clip, uh, is as deep carry as you're going to get on a nice milled titanium, uh, clip. That was one of the other things that I really liked about this. This goes in and out of pockets, uh, really well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it off camera, pulling it in and out, in and out. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what she said. Um, uh, but this pocket clip is, uh, Bravo. I, I'm going to give them big kudos on this pocket clip. A lot of milled titanium clips aren't really deep carry, so it's not completely deep carry, but I think, um, that's about as deep carry as you can, uh, get with a milled titanium clip. And a lot of people don't do that. They're, they're, they're down a lot farther and they hang out a lot more. Um, you know, again, well, I guess tactile turn does it really well also, but, uh, looking at that, uh, Ferrum Forge Allure, I think is pretty, uh, common. Uh, I guess it's not that much difference on there, but, uh, again, a lot more deeper carry than, uh, a lot of standard, uh, titanium pocket clips. So, uh, kudos to Kube. Uh, they're killing it, man. Uh, they do a lot of good, uh, OEM work. I know the, uh, uh, upcoming, uh, what is it? The Tempest Knives Pinion is done by Kube. Uh, that's Casey from Knives Fast Knife. I handled that at Blade Show. He said that that was, uh, Kube. Uh, the Devo Growler, uh, that's coming out. I handled that at Blade Show also. Um, that's, uh, being done by Kube. Uh, there's someone else that, uh, I just talked to also that's doing a knife with Kube. Anyway, I think Kube's uh, great. Uh, I would say that I would put them up there with, uh, you know, um, mo sure. Most of their stuff are on the more budget line. So I can't really, this is the only higher end, uh, Kube I've seen and, uh, handled, but, uh, I would put this up there with best tech and, we maybe it's not you know as high of a steel in only being 30 s35 vn you know i don't know if they have other uh you know better steel offerings but um again i think uh kube is great and i got uh no no gripes with kube uh with any anything that i've handled from kube uh I, i've liked i've never had a problem with any of the kubes i'm sure that there are ones but uh in the, I don't know, dozen or so I've had, so I've had and sold uh, some other ones uh, that just weren't for me. They weren't keepers, but uh, they were good knives. Um, yeah, uh, Kube is, uh, I give them two thumbs up uh, for sure. Love me some Kube. So that's it, folks. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, again, shout out to uh, uh, Bears Blades. He'll be linked in the description. Uh, again, thanks to bear bishop for the uh hookup on the uh kube uh excuse me the kube I was, ugh, ugh, get tongue tied right at the very end the kube atlas folks that's it i'm done I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes and uh yeah again quick shout this is where i've been coming out to film lately ella is still with me why do i instantly start talking like that whenever i show ella
but yep just out uh this nice little spot out here uh you know set up on the picnic table and whatnot so anywho until the next one i'll talk to you mofos later deuces